Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a video of how you can log on to the SmartFast portal for the first time and register all your information and your practice information so you can get started and start ordering SmartFast products. Okay, so the first time that you need to uh, access the portal uh, is www.smartfast.app. Okay, you need to click on register just here and then a screen comes up. You have to enter some details, your GDC number and your email address and then you click submit and you will receive an email that comes through usually to your spam folder. So do make sure you check in there, okay? You have to verify your email address and then you can then log in like this from now on. You type your email address in up here, type your password, and then you have to make sure that the dentist is selected and then you click log in. Once you log in, you come to the dashboard and the dashboard shows you the cases that you've got going, the active cases and the closed cases as well, okay? As you can see, this is the first time I've logged in, so I've got no cases at all. So what do I need to do? First thing is register my details, register the dentist details. I'm gonna click on my account just here, and then it has my name, uh, my GDC number, my email address, my password, and then over on this side here, it has my practice details. And as you can see, as yet, there are no practice details. So I'm going to click on new practices and I'm going to type my practice in. Now, some people have multiple practices and that's not a problem. Because the idea is that you can still put in all your practices and when you register a new patient, you just click on the practice that, that needs to be associated with that practice. Okay. Okay. So once you've entered all your details and all your practice details, all you have to do is click confirm. And there we go, we have our practice and it's all registered and ready to go, okay? Now it's time to add our very first patient into the portal, okay? So the first thing you need to do is log into your account, which takes you to dashboard. As you can see, this dashboard page is completely empty because I haven't entered any patient details yet. So if I'm gonna go across the top, I'm gonna to find the patients icon, which I'm gonna click, and then it's gonna take me to all the patients. And as you see, no patients there. So I go up to the right hand side and see the icon for new patient and click that. Now I can enter the patient's details. You can choose the gender and you can choose a picture so you can recognize the patient. You must select your practice center as well, because as we said before, different patients can be registered at different practices depending on where you're working. So we've got one practice here. We save the details. And now this patient is now saved onto the SmartFast portal, okay? So now to place your order, you actually have to click on My Cases. So the only way you can place an order is to click on My Cases. This now brings up the patient's information screen. And as you can see, it says right here, missing clinical information. So I cannot click on any of the stages of treatment because there's missing information. I need to add patient information before I can move forward. So I'm gonna go over here to patient file. When I click on patient file, it brings up the page that shows me all the information that I need to add. So I need to select the current tooth shade. So we'll say A1. Uh, home tooth whitening plan, yes or no. Patient evaluation form, which you can download from the portal. Uh, and you can then um, scan and upload it. Smile assessment form, again, you can download from the Google Drive that we sent you, and then you can upload it. And now we've got all the eight pictures that we need. So by clicking on the picture, it then takes you via another window to the different pictures that we need. We're gonna open all our pictures. So we've got our sequence of eight smile fast pictures. This is where you add your STLs. So you can add a, a scan of your upper jaw and your lower jaw and also a bite registration if you want. Now these take up to 20 megabytes, so you shouldn't have any problems loading STLs. Now for this particular case, I'm not gonna load STLs. I'm gonna send physical impressions to the lab. So I'm gonna click the icon that says send impressions to lab and then that will highlight, okay? Additional files. If the patient has any pictures of themselves when they were younger that they'd like to try and replicate, you can load those photos on here and it just helps us with the design process. Additional comments. This is where I can write anything that's interesting about the case, any particular things that I want to uh, the design to include. So for example, um, I could write lengthen all teeth by 
0.5 millimeters. Okay, when I'm happy with that, I click save. This will save the patient's uh, pictures and STLs and any additional comments onto their file and that locks it in. That means the Team SmartFast now has all the information they need and we need to start planning and helping you uh, design this case. Depending on the file sizes, it sometimes takes quite a long time to load and you're going to get this loading icon. But as long as that loading icon is circling, don't worry, don't panic, just let it do its thing. It's just loading all of the uh, digital files onto the cloud software. And there we go. So we're now fully loaded. So now you can see the different stages of the SmartFast ordering system have now become highlighted. So we can actually start choosing uh, where we want to go. So most times we're going to start with the SmartFast design, which is the 2D augmented smile photo and the treatment options. So we click SmartFast design and then we can put in additional information and place our order. For people who are a little bit more confident with their smile design, they might want to go straight to the SmartFast refine stage. This is where we will send a 3D printed model and a putty trial stent to actually trial on the patient. So let's do that. Let's click on Smart Fast Refine. Here we go. So this is all the information it's asking for. Date of next appointment. Very, very important that we fill this out. How many teeth? Do we know it's going to be six teeth or four teeth or are we unsure? If you need a bit of advice from Smart Fast, you click unsure. Lower teeth. Are we going to be doing upper teeth or lower teeth? Again, if we're unsure, we click unsure. Tooth shape. Uh, we talked about this on the on the course. Uh, if there's a particular shape that the patient wants, then cl click the appropriate one. But again, if you're not sure, you can just click copy existing shape or you can write in the notes that you want some advice on the tooth shape. Tooth surface texture. Everybody has a different um, thought on what their teeth should look like, whether they should be smooth, whether they should have lots of anatomy. So you can tick which, which is the, uh, the most appropriate for your patient. So let's tick light surface texture. Tooth whitening. This is where you order the tooth whitening. So if you want us to send you tooth whitening gels and trays, you need to click yes for tooth whitening. OK, additional files. Again, this is the opportunity to add additional files. If the patients come for their second appointment and they've brought some pictures with them, upload them here. OK, and provide information to plan this case. This is where we need as much information from you guys as possible. So anything you can tell us that will help us give you the best outcome and the patient exactly what they want. So we're going to type that here. OK. Then we have to click that we confirm that the patient is fit and healthy and an examination has been completed. Dental radiographs have been taken. And then we have to click to confirm that we understand that SmartFast is only providing options, not definitive treatment planning. That is down to you and the patient to discuss. When we're happy, we click submit. And the order has been placed. And if you look at recent orders, and now we can track our order and we can see we have a SmartFast refined case the date that it was sent to the lab and the status is the lab is assessing the case. And so now we know the lab has got those files and they're looking at it and they'll get back to us. OK. And then we come in and we see our order that we've got here. So this is our one order. Um, the patient is anonymous and the uh, order is the smart fast refine order. So if I want to find out a bit more what's going on with this order, I click on the smart fast refine here and I actually see what I ordered. Uh, so it's like a, an online lab docket. So I can see that I asked for uh, an upper arch and a lower arch. I wasn't sure which. I uh, wanted a copy existing shape, tooth surface texture light, and tooth whitening has been requested. Now, if I have anything I want to ask the lab, I write it in this section here. Okay, so this is where you ask your questions, and that will go through to the lab or to one of the mentors. So here I could just put, uh, please advise on tooth whitening instructions. I can click submit and now you can see here I've asked for advice on tooth whitening instructions that will go to the lab and then you'll get a response through and when you do it will turn up as an email which will let you know that a response to this case has come through you can then log in and read the response in this section here okay So once the lab has assessed the case and things are starting to move forward, the icon will change to in progress, like you can see here. OK, but at any point you can communicate with the lab by clicking on the order and going back into this communication section and typing in your notes. And this is where you'll find any other things they're communicating back to you, like visuals, pictures or treatment options. By going to the dashboard, you can also click on this item here, which is the lab slip. So if you are posting physical impressions, you can click on the lab slip icon. And it will generate a lab slip 
which you can then print and you can put it in with your bag. So here's the lab slip right here. You can print this and you can put it in with your bag, with your impressions and send it across to SmileFast and the address for SmileFast is at the top there. So we'll know who it's for, what you've asked for and we can keep everything together and tally it up with your online order.